Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video, bro. Today we're reacting to Jake Paul. He's fighting a pro boxer again, apparently. Last time he fought a pro boxer, he got his ex whooped. You know what I'm saying? Check for brand new, make sure you subscribe. Let's see what this guy's got today. Johnny has a magic trick. I have a magic trick, all right? Obviously, I got all the tricks. Go ahead, put your hand on this. This is your yard, all right? Now, one day you want to have a house. Tell me where you want your house. Okay, I'll make a mark and tell me if you It's okay, it's just a pinch. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Would you like a playground? Yeah. Tell me where the playground goes. What is this guy doing? Okay, right there. Playground and then, right there, nice. Uh, do you want a hot tub or a pool? Hot tub. Okay, where? Here we go. Last week, we found out that he is, in fact, returning to action. December 15th, on the zone against Andre August. Andre August. Andre August. Andre August. Does this fight finally make him a legitimate fighter? He's taking a risk. He's getting in the ring. He can get knocked out. Jake is in a spot where he could potentially lose. And now he's just going to go fight a pro boxer that no one really heard of. Why? Wow, dude, that's the, yeah, man. They even got footage of the guy trip like in fights. So that's <laughs> he's taking the risk. He's getting in the ring. He can get knocked out. Jake is in a spot where he could potentially lose. And now he's just gonna go fight a pro boxer that no one really heard of. Why Andre August? No idea who this guy is. Andre August. Who? 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 Where are you, a fing owl? It's Andre August. That's who? Shut the f the switch up is crazy from fight a real boxer, fight a real boxer, to who is this guy? What is he doing this for? Make up your mind, y'all. But you want to know who I'm doing it for? Me. My experience to become world champion and doing it in front of everybody's eyeballs. Treating myself like a typical boxing prospect would do. And not that I should even give you little peons some answers. But here's some stats for you. Pound for pound, the great Terrence Crawford fought a 9 and 14 opponent in his ninth fight. Canelo Alvarez fought an 0 and 1 opponent in his ninth fight. And Gervonta Davis fought. Oh, he's doing a little research. Opponent that had 31 losses in his ninth fight. Yes, you heard that right. For y'all to still be criticizing me, it just shows your own insecurities and that you are a hater tweeting off of your mom's wi-fi and if it's not your mom's i know for sure you split that bill with a roommate <laughs> that's crazy but with that said terrence canelo and gervonta didn't have the world watching them in their ninth fights however i do so therefore i am making an exciting fight a fight that's really 50-50 against a 10-1 pro boxer who's been doing this their whole life. More knockouts than me, more experience than me. A three-time Golden Glove champion in the amateurs. Jake, you, you think it's 50-50, but actually, according to the numbers, he's a better boxer than you. Shit. Bring it on, baby. Not... Wow, that's fine. Mr. August Andre is on a seven fight win streak. This guy is a real dog. December 15th, it goes down in Orlando at the Caribe Royale Resort, brought to you by Celsius Essential Energy Drink. And I want y'all to be there. The ticket link will be in the description. I gotta tell you, somebody's getting knocked out. I mean, look at this guy's power. Shit, bro, why does this guy got knocked out? I have a Tyrone Woodley to a knockout. <laughs> this is going to be the biggest fight in Orlando history, and there's an amazing undercard fight. MVP Shadeja, the sweet Terminator Green, goes up against Franchon Cruz de Zern for the WBC Super Middleweight World Championship title, marking yet another massive women's fight for the MVP family as we look to grow no. equity across the sport. And WBC women's middleweight, super middleweight. That's like Canelo. 
can assure you Mr. August is not coming to play games. This man is rich, in shape, and hungry. This is his opportunity that he's been waiting for his entire life as a boxer to cement his legacy in the history books and to make a lot of money stopping me. However, if you think I'm backing down and not ready for a fight, you are wrong. I promise you, I'm going to end this man. His name may be August. <laughs> That's why you said about Tommy Fury. His name may be August. But I'm gonna you leave made Tommy me. Fury the richest guy in the UK side. His name may be August, but I promise I will leave this man as cold as December. That phrase is trademark copyright incorporated. All rights reserved. Pat and Penny by Problem Child Incorporation. Protected by the DMCA Digital Millennium Copyright Act 2023. Thank you. <laughs> And it is available exclusively on the zone. So go to thezone.com right now to get this fight for free as a part of your subscription. Be there Friday, December 15th. Let's go. For free? The fight's free? If you have the zone. Yeah, all right. Yo, Jasper, could you just say yeah every 10 seconds in the video? Cause... Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. All right, so. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Well, these guys are still going with fireworks. What the? Alright, we just got done with a five mile run. Well, me, not not him. No, I got done with it too. And uh, we just wanted to give you guys a little house update because there's a lot of construction and fun things going on at the house. And we know it's been a while since we've updated you. What? <laughs> I'm just laughing because I think they're going to be expecting to see like a finished product. And we're about to show them a pile of rubble. Well, they want to be a part of the of the process, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. They yeah. want to see the different steps that are they going on. They want to see the shit. They want to see when it's fucking done. Well, they're going to see that if they like, comment, subscribe. And... And we're in their algorithm. Oh, yeah. Speaking of subscribe. Wait, people actually don't know this, but Brandon found this feature out. If you say subscribe on YouTube, the button now, like, glows. Subscribe. And see how the button just glowed? First of all, click it. But does it work if they're already subscribed? I don't think they'll see that. But if you're not subscribed, wow, you this guy's subscribe, it glows. So. This sounds like a scam, too. That's no, it, you're he is scamming. So basically what's happening is a hot tub is going in there because this house didn't have a hot tub. Like, what the fuck? And a cold plunge. And then on the left, there's going to be a nice, like, fireplace sitting area. And then I have some art. Bro, this guy, why did they have to put too many tattoos, bro? You know what I'm saying? Installation that's going to be going up behind that. But it's really dope because the hot tub is like this oxygenated water. And it sort of acts like a hyperbaric chamber. So it's really good for recovery. Over here is the hot tub. It's going to be like a waterfall. And it's going to flow all nice into here. Okay. Oh, this is actually my first time in it. It's like a pool. Wow, this is, this is bigger than I thought. This is at least like a 30 person hot tub. So the art piece is going to go... Like a really expensive piece of art from this amazing artist. I'm gonna start collecting his stuff. It was really expensive. Stay tuned for that. Like how expensive? Uh, like a million. A million? Wow. No, I didn't say that. So right here, a lot of money. Nice Just a lot. Fired places itself, and we're just gonna talk about things like uh, who's gonna win the presidential election and stuff like that. And uh, over there in the yard, we have a nice sauna that we have to build. Over here, over here. So this is like the biohacking recovery section of the house. So I have my ice bath here, which I use three times a day. But right here was a bunch of plants. However, this is where I'm going to put the sauna. So we have them cemented. They're going to put tiles over this. Basically, I'll... You guys make sure you subscribe, please. Basically, yeah, guys, I'll make sure you subscribe. The door, go in the sauna, and then once I'm steaming hot, come out right into the ice bath. Over here, you're probably wondering what's going on. Jake, what the heck is going on here? So let me tell you, hold for plank. So I'm extending the main living room area. So this all used to be outdoor patio, but right now we're extending the house and adding wow. like another three to 400 square feet of living space. But I didn't like that when you walked in the house. This guy's got so much resources, bro, and cash. It must be expensive. Just like and, and it didn't feel like this like big nice area. And it was really weird to me. And there's so much room out here, so we didn't need any more outdoor seating or furniture space. It's just these small like architectural things that a lot of architects or people who think they know what they're doing in this business really don't know shit about building houses and feng shui and 
making things nice. So definitely had to come in and like fix a lot of these like small things. <laughs> feng shui. Feng shui, yeah. Go, look at that. Put the definition up on there. Huh. How you like that? How you couldn't you like, wait to say that shit. How, how you like them apples? And also like who the <laughs> fuck builds a house like this and doesn't have a fucking hot tub? Like, yeah, yeah, no feng shui. That's bro. What? The point of life is to get rich to buy a fucking hot tub and sit in it and drink fucking beer. That's literally why you make money. And what? you don't, people disgust me. So that's basically everything that's going on outside. On the inside, we're adding a fish tank. It's fucking bugs. We're adding a fish tank. Uh, I have a crazy bed, art pieces, all bunch of stuff we're gonna show you guys in the upcoming videos. These candles are melting. I don't think that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. It's a leaning candle, leaning tower of candle. Leaning, leaning pizza can, leaning tower of pizza candles. Leaning pizza candles. That's Le okay. Leaning, leaning candles of pizza in Italy. In France, wherever it is, Belgium. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll give you guys another update in a couple of weeks. Jake, Jake, Ooh. he's here. Bro, what the hell? Well, this guy's can even this guy keep showing. Why are they showing now when I'm trying to show my video? Can you guys hear them? Yeah, he's here. He's at the gym. <laughs> Let's go! Down for some self defense! <laughs> have, they, have they seen his videos? He's, he's viral. Yeah, we should show him. Alright, so the Detroit guys here, here's some of his videos, and we're gonna collab with Give me your money, you Give me your money! Granny! You short of us while training! Don't move, you move us. Whoa, 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 I thought you were gonna start well, take me down! <laughs> so the main question I came here to ask you today is what would you have done when I got jumped by Floyd Mayweather? So these guys like tried to surround me from behind. See so the fence right there? Yeah. You gotta hit that fence. That's what guys can go with that fence. That means you fight one at a time, it's a cumulative fence. <laughs> like climb up it? Yes, go right up the fence. <laughs> hit that fence. Half the guys aren't coming. Those that do come over, each one of those guys, you're gonna hit where it counts. These places where they don't want to be struck. The first thing you do when they come to the back, you're gonna wreck it at me. Oh, oh shit. shit. So she has all that. You grip the groin, you grip it. You grip the dick and take off like on the street, Wait, 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 Freeze! Gone! <laughs> bro, fuck you, dog. You talk to my girl, bro? I think you talk. We're not gonna let the Celsius out. Eyeball. The eyeball out. <laughs> Remove the Celsius. No. Enjoy the Celsius. <laughs> right here. Took him down. You know it's all big now. This controls people from the back without injury. It made me go, ah! Fuck! Oh, cool. Ouch. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I just was caught off guard. <laughs> Alright, so the sage is set. He's running his Coming mouth. I'm, I'm casually drinking my Celsius. Step one, throw. Step two, two. get your other Celsius from your six pack and begin to unload full auto. Hit! Direct hit! That's it! Keep going! Keep going! Direct hit! Next one! Next one! Whoa, wait, did you actually crack the mirror? What the? Guys, are psycho. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Sorry. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, bro, I just shook your hand. Sorry, sorry, man. I just, I just shook your fucking hand. Not everything is self defense, brother. Get some ice. Get some ice, man. Quit playing. That's probably what I would do if someone put a gun up to me. I would just say, like, please do it. Like, 
Put me out of my misery. I hate being here. Please do it. They'd be scared now. Please, like, please. I fucking hate it here. Like, this shit sucks. That would probably scare them. Yeah. It scares me that I have those thoughts, you know? Yeah. Well, that would scare the criminal. They automatically pull their gun out when they're really close to us. They go here. Yeah. They don't want to be back here. And if they do, they close the gap. And they don't move. They'll move. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, put this again on the ground. Well, turn around. Buy me dinner first, daddy. Right. That's a good comeback. That might work too. A distraction. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If someone started doing shit to me, I would just make them think about it. They'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. If you was a man. That's right. That's right. And then disarm. And then it's like, like, around, around. like okay, are you gonna spank me? <laughs> type that shit. That might work. Type shit. Right. Type shit. Right. So I'm here with Commander Brown, getting ready for my December 15th bout to see if there's any special tactics that I could use in the ring. And he says he has a move called the KSI. Yes, the KSI. Now, this does not involve a dildo or anything. This is where you use your hand, you use an open hand, and, and strike, or punch, strike the elbow. Ah, the elbow. Ah, wow! <laughs> Be that's legal. I don't think that. that's legal. May not be. Blame KSI for that. If uh, my my finger is articulated out and pushed down, then drop to the ground. You you really you couldn't control that? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> stop my finger. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> just trying to fucking see what's up. When you grab, let's say they grab your finger like your hand, they won't let go. Like being a tough guy like this, you squeeze your hand. Uh -huh. Take your hand like this and go like that. The KSI, the dissing JJ, you know. <laughs> he wants to resist so far. Nah, he is resisting. <laughs> he is resisting. You want to see how big this shit is? Yep. So you gotta put his hand and block you like this? Uh -huh. Yep, that's right. Take your body like this. Hey, damn, 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 damn. All right, all right. So I'm not hitting though. Ah, right, you got me, you got me, you got me. You got me. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Fucking RKO'd you. Alright, bro, this shit is for real. I agree, it looks fake, but it's not fake. Uh, it hurts terribly. <laughs> Man, stay the fuck away. Who's <laughs> away? But the next technique is even better. Stay the fuck away. This one hurts a thousand Grab times. Grab him by the dick! Let's <laughs> Grab him by the dick! Another one you can use is watch this. I want to get him off my client or away from my client, but I want to hit this guy. Just come right here. <laughs> oh, oh. Ouch. He's falling on the broccoli, man. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for coming to Puerto Rico. That was fire. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos too. I love you all. Have a great rest of the day, man. And I'm out.